Yo guys, what is up? It's Fenner. How are you doing today? Strong picks in season three. Now, obviously there was a patch recently. We haven't got to practice it much in a competitive environment. And this is all gonna be based off of my experience on watching pro streams and pro tournaments. A lot has changed in this patch. Diva is the big game changer this season. She pretty much shapes the entire meta game herself. She went through a couple of changes in the last patch and she's become a lot stronger and very heavily picked at the top level. The amount of HP she has now is just absolutely insane. She just doesn't die. And when she's used along with Reinhardt, there's two tanks who can just soak incredible amounts of damage, meaning that it's very, very hard for the opposing team to actually kill anyone. That makes Reinhardt the second strong pick I'm going to recommend for the start of season three. Reinhardt has pretty much always been around. He hasn't really gone through too many changes. He's just pretty much always been the strongest defensive tank. Now you can obviously start to think that we're looking at a tank heavy meta game this season to start it off, which brings us to Anna, the third strong pick that I'm gonna recommend. Anna is a support hero that thrives when a lot of tanks are on the team. And we're gonna be looking at three tanks very often in this season if pro tournaments and pro streams or anything to go off. With three tanks on the team, Anna can just charge her ultimate a lot faster. She's got crazy burst healing and just her kit in general is still super strong. Even though she received those nerfs to her ultimate, it doesn't really take away from the fact that her kit is just crazy. Sleep Dart is amazing. Defensive heal grenade is amazing. Offensive grenade that stops them from healing is absolutely crazy. She's just an incredibly strong support. Damage heroes are in a little bit of an awkward spot this season because with both D.Va and Ryan looking strong in the meta and looking like big picks, it's very hard to actually get damage through the shield and through the defense matrix to get the kills that you need. The two damage heroes that are looking stronger right now are Soldier thanks to his big buffs in the last patch. He does a lot more damage now and his ultimate just pairs well with Anna as well. And then McCree, of course, always a solid pick. But Soldier is starting to take his place a little bit. McCree kind of comes in when they've got someone like a Genji or a Tracer. Now you might be thinking, Fenner, why not pick Reaper? It's a heavy tank meta. He's great against tanks. Well, Reaper is not great against D.Va. She's got an incredible amount of armor, which means he doesn't do much damage against her and Defense Matrix does really well against his shotguns as well because usually Reaper gets in and he doesn't have much time to actually do damage. It's usually like one, two, three shots. But if the Defense Matrix is there, then he's not going to do too much. Now, don't let this dissuade you from playing your favorite damage hero. The game is actually really balanced for damage heroes right now, I think. And I don't think any of them are in a really bad spot that like are desperate in needs of a buff. It's just Soldier and McCree are generally favored by the pro players right now. So if damage heroes are in an awkward spot because of the tank heavy meta, how are you going to get kills? Well, that, my friends, is where Fat Man Hoggerino comes in. Most damage heroes get shut down by D.Va's defense matrix, but guess what doesn't? Hog's big dog hook. Due to the difficulty of getting a pick off because everybody's standing behind D.Va and Ryan and there's so much healing coming from Anna, picking people off with the hog hook is the way that a lot of pro teams are playing right now. So he's gonna be an extremely strong pick for season three. To flesh out the supports a bit more, Lucio is still as strong as ever picked. The speed boost is just way too good to not have. And there has been a little bit of Zenyatta recently to try and help out with those heavy tank picks with the Discord Orb. All right, one last one. There is one specialty pick that is increasing in popularity very rapidly due to new strategies that are popping up. Sombra. Now, when Sombra came out initially at BlizzCon, everyone went crazy. They thought she was just incredibly overpowered. Then she came to the PTR and people got to play her a bit more and people started to think she was a bit weak. Her damage felt low and she doesn't move as good as Tracer can. However, recently a strategy has popped up that was used by a pro Korean team where basically on attack, you hack a mega health pack, your team takes damage and then they keep picking up that health pack. The goal of the strategy is to build Sombra's ultimate up as fast as possible and then just push with her ultimate before anyone else can get their ultimate. And it actually works really well. And there's been a lot of pro teams and players using it on streams. 
every time somebody heals the full HP from a mega health pack, you get 20% ultimate charge. So you just let someone like your Roadhog get hit over and over and you keep stepping on the health pack and you literally get her ultimate within 30 seconds of the game starting and then you just push with EMP and there's nothing the defenders can do because they've got no abilities. And it seems broken to a point and it might be the one thing that stops the heavy tank meta from happening. But I don't think we've seen it enough yet to completely get on the train, but it's one thing that might come in next season and be incredibly powerful. Anyway, guys, remember that the meta game is still fresh. The patch was only recent and it hasn't really been figured out yet. So don't let this dissuade you from playing the hero that you love if I didn't say it. It's just an idea of what is favored at the high level right now. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace guys.